Hi, I'm Matt Helm, the curriculum designer here at MRU, going through our revamped supply and demand. So here we are on day three, the law of supply. And if we'll we be talking about the supply curve today. Now, when you talk about the demand curve, I think it's very easy for students to get in their head what's going on because we've all bought stuff. We've all been consumers or buyers. On the supply side, it's more difficult because not all of us are producers. So in order to help students kind of get in the mindset of the producer, the people behind the supply curve, we have a bunch of articles that students can choose about teens who have started business. Um, and so in their student activity sheet, they can click on these links that will take them to the these articles. And we actually have um, PDFs of the articles um, as well, um, you know, in case, you know, links go dead or whatever. And so actually, I think it links to the actual the, the PDFs that we have um, in the uh, in, in the student activity sheet. So read the article and answer some questions. Think about you know what these um, you know again getting them getting them into the mindset of the producer, gesturing towards um, that supply curve. When the price goes up, suppliers are going to want to produce uh, produce more. So you have these questions, and then ask the students. Okay, now you're an entrepreneur. What would you like to make? And you want to think about a physical good because it's just easier. Um, you know, to build the supply curve, thinking about a physical good. So you want to think, all right, if you could make a product, so you want to sort of guide them towards a more physical good, you know, candles, paintings, baked goods, that sort of thing. Um, and then you have them fill out their own, you know, supply schedule, just like um, what they did um, with the demand schedule. Um, you know, they fill out this. So, all right, let's see. So the first question here is, you know, what would the price of this product have to be for you to make and sell 10 of these two weeks from now? So basically, how much would you need to get um, to make it worth your while to make 10? Okay. Now, assume the price is double. How many How many would you sell if the price were half? How many? And again, this is sort of to get students thinking about um, the uh, supply curve. And then we have a video. Um, we have some, you know, before video questions. Again, getting them to sort of think about what the law of supply might be before we um, before we have it. And we have our video, which we'll pause at certain points to ask them, you know, sort of learning questions, making sure they're understanding what's happening um, in the video. And the video is covering that supply curve, you know, why it's sloped upward, which I think is often hard for people to wrap their heads around. Um, and I, you know, when I describe it, I usually describe to students like, all right, you want to think about this as like a really big supply curve that, you know, the supply curve may be, you know, if you think about manufacturing, maybe flat in places where, you know, they want to sort of make the same amount, but then if the price goes up, they'll want to, they'll want to produce uh, more. Um, and I think the video does a good job of sort of thinking about the supply curve as different producers with different costs. So as the price goes up now, all of a sudden, some producers who have those higher costs want to operate and they enter and um, supply, which is another good way um, to think about it, okay? Which is what this image is uh, is basically showing. All right, again, we have the horizontal reading of curves and the vertical reading of the curves. The horizontal basically saying, all right, you know, at this price, um, you know, how much are suppliers willing and able to sell at this price? So like basically at this price, what would they be able to supply? And the vertical re reading is like, okay, to produce this given quantity, what's the minimum price they would need? Once again, we have an interactive practice where um, this is like our graph a demand curve where students have to graph a supply curve. So they put the price and quantity on the, on the proper axes, and then they have to plot it out. So basically for each of these days so far, we've had a nice interactive for um, for the students um, to hopefully, you know, bring that home. All right. And then exit ticket, you know, just have one of these retrieval practice for the students to see how much that they can remember about the law of supply. All right. So again, we have a big activity up front where they are reading these articles, trying to get in the head of suppliers. We have a video introducing the law of supply and then an interactive um, practice. Get our supply, demand, and equilibrium unit plan here, or click for the next video.